But stick around, because this story's crazy, and it's about as sturdy as cotton candy and gravitational lensing. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the Button, Baby. Party dance time. We're talking about aliens, man. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA scientists unveil seven hot spots for life in our solar system and beyond. This was written October 6th, 2016, but I didn't get around to it till now because I've been busy covering a hurricane. Space scientists estimate the odds of humanity being the only civilization in the universe at less than one chance in about 10 billion trillion, or the same chance that science will admit it had a large role in helping oil companies rape and pillage our planet and our economy over the last 100 years. It takes a lot of science to extract oil from all around the globe. Recent discoveries by the NASA's Kepler mission of planets outside the solar system drastically increased the likelihood that other technologically advanced civilizations exist. I don't think that actually changes the odds of whether or not life exists. I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure that life exists in other places around our solar system. I'm pretty sure it's probably even here, running the Iron Bank and possibly the Space Pirates as well. Penelope Boston, director of NASA's Astrobiology Institute, and Seth Shostak, a senior astronomer at SETI, recently identified seven potential hotspots for the discovery of life in our solar system and beyond in an interview with Andrew Foley of the Daily Caller News Foundation, a news and opinion website based in Washington, D.C. Number one, Mars. All right, this article smells like a fart already, unless they're telling us something we might not be ready to handle, that our planet and our economy is a slave to Mars. But Martians are running the show, and that's why we have such an anti-human being bias going on in the media right now. Mars is really big. What the hell? And when we send missions, we can only interrogate a small portion of it. First of all, I don't think you know what interrogate means. I gotta look this shit up. I'm pretty sure you gotta ask questions in interrogation. Interrogate. Ask questions of someone, especially a suspect or a prisoner, closely, aggressively, or formally. Ah, uh, obtain data from. So I guess... We're both right, or I'm wrong. Number. The Viking missions of the 1970s were an attempt to look for life holistically, but our state of the art at the time simply wasn't up to the task. It also became clear to us just how difficult a task of looking for life was. We're looking for extremely small and extremely cryptic forms of life. What does that mean? That they're in a crypt, meaning underground? Can't you just infrared underground spectroscopy or some shit? I guess not. And hey, maybe Martians aren't all that bad. Maybe they're doing it for our benefit. And somehow we just haven't put the piece of the puzzle together. <sighs> maybe this video won't make it. But Jupiter's Europa. For me, the body in the solar system most likely to have life is pretty much a dead heat between Europa and Mars. What makes you think, like, if NASA hadn't figured out after 500 satellites that Mars does or doesn't have life, I, I wouldn't hold your breath. And, and, if, and the fact that you think Mars is number one, that, that, that makes me... I don't even want to finish the freaking article. You know? Okay, so I'll just go, uh, yeah, seriously, okay, Drew, Jupiter's Europa, Saturn's Enceladus, because both Europa and Enceladus have oceans inside, asterisk, Proxima b, exoplanet of Earth's nearest star, which they just found, it's been a hot story, oh my god, the strangest star in the Milky Way, Kick 8462852, the one that is dimming and brightening that people can't explain, this is all SETI and Caltech, ain't there somebody else in science, Saturn's largest moon, Titan, which I declared already has life, but they just haven't told us yet. And this is my favorite, number seven, the cosmos, meaning beyond our solar system is, has a good chance of having life. Okay, so that's, that's fascinating, and I apologize if you wanted a more in-depth video, but uh, yeah, I'm like, you're gonna pick Mars as number one, and like Mars or SETI hadn't figured it out yet, then I'm gonna be offended, upset, and I'm just gonna walk away. And I'll leave the link, the article, in the description box. Everybody have a great day, and peace out. And Mars, let's work it out. How about a hundred year solar system truths because ain't nobody happy with what's going on now you know who wants a world where nobody's happy where there's no rock and roll there's no good movies there's no art there's no good plays no good books hell man the dark age is all over again we don't want that no we don't